Hello everyone, I am Vaibhav Gupta. I hope you all are doing very well and having a very great day. Uh, I am a senior year undergraduate computer science student studying in India. I am a coffee lover. I am an OS kernel enthusiast. I am passionate about embedded systems, firmware, bootloader, literally any technology functioning closest to the hardware. Recently, I worked as a Linux kernel mentee under the Linux kernel mentorship program. My project was to upgrade the uh, power management framework of, for PCI drivers. I was also a Google Summer of Code student developer in 2019. I worked with Artemis project on the kernel. Uh, I worked upon kernel API layers. This year, they invited me as a mentor for the same program. First of all, I would like to thank the Linux Foundation for giving me a chance to speak here. I'm really very really glad to be here. So. I got inspired for this talk from the project I worked upon. It uh, revolves around PCI subsystem and PCI drivers. Uh, Bjorn was my mentor for this project. He is the Linux PCI subsystem maintainer. And uh, the whole program was supervised by Shua. She is Linux fellow, uh, developer and maintainer. And uh, during the whole project, I interacted with many other developers, especially the maintainer, driver maintainers, because I was working on a very large set of drivers. And uh, uh, so we'll, do, we'll be discussing about PCI, PCI drivers, and power management in context of PCI, driver, uh, PCI drivers. We'll see the codes and framework and other features that are provided uh, to make the power management work possible for PCI drivers. and. Uh, how the legacy framework started creating problems and there was a need of generic framework and how we went from legacy to generic the fall of legacy and we'll also discuss the next steps power management and pci power management has always been a focal point in linux and when talking about uh, pci power management it is like talking about powers that are very subtle to handle i'm saying this because pci in itself is very complex I mean, when I started working on this project, I thought to give a read to PCI spec because I wanted to know more about PCI capabilities and registers. And when I first read the PCI spec, I was like, is this some alien text? Because really many of the things went above my head. And things got easy when I started to work upon uh, the code. But still, I worked on a part of a part of a kernel and I still feel the code that are, that are running the PCI devices are not less than magical spells. <laughs> so talking about uh, uh, PCI PM, okay. I want to make this clear first that whenever I will be talking about power management uh, during the talk, I'll be talking particularly about the suspend and resume transitions and the framework term, I'll be generally using it for power management framework for PCI drivers. Okay, so legacy versus generate. So before going into legacy versus generic, let's see what is the framework. So framework generally uh, uh, describes how your describes the flow of execution of your code. Because if you see any code, uh, if you see check out any driver code in the kernel repo, you will see that there are many functions. There are literally every function for every feature the device can perform. Basic ones are like probe, initialization, attach, device attach, suspend, resume device d attack etc so the driver code has functions or uh, methods for each and every feature that a device can perform but when and how that code has to be executed is decided by the framework and again framework is also a code and for this uh, for this power management framework you can find it in pci core uh, in the pci core file in the repository so like here it is given in uh, for suspend method. First, the device has to go in prepare, then suspend mode, then suspend no interrupt request. Sim similarly for resume. And so this is how the framework decide. And uh, generally, uh, generally speaking, we needed the framework because uh, earlier in earlier days, you know, devices were very custom and random. There was no particular standard. Okay. And uh, devices were there, but things uh, started getting very complex and very messy and ugly once the, there, was, there were too many devices and it was getting hard to uh, port interaction calls, like port to interact with them. So there was a need of standard 
लाइक देर इज यू एस बी देर इज पी सी आई एंड दी स्टैंडर्ड दे फॉर्म सब सिस्टम द पी सी आई हैज पी सी आई सब सिस्टम सो ड्राइवर्स आर जनरली अ लेयर बिटवीन डिवाइस एंड अ कर्नल बट वंस वी टॉक अबाउट स्टैंडर्ड लाइक पी सी आई सब सिस्टम द पी सी आई कोर इट इज अ लेयर बिटवीन द ड्राइवर एंड द कर्नल अगेन अगेन सो दे इज जस्ट लाइक अनदर लेयर बट दीज थिंग्स मेक सिंप्लीफाई मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स दीज थिंग्स दीज थिंग्स आर ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड ईजी टू कोड सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट पी सी आई सब सिस्टम now before going into uh, the power management stuff and all those legal see stuff first uh, let's see uh, let's see some some of the few let's go through few of the few things that we are going to like see again and again so it is in pci.h uh, you will find the structure struct pci dev although when you will look in the into the code pci dev uh, pci dev structure is really very big it has lot many from you know, member variables function pointers and it really it is very big structure but we are concerned with few of them so struct pci dev generally describes a, a basic pci device okay and it embeds uh, another uh, member variable which uh, which is of type uh, structure device we will come across this later first of all we should look upon this one it has a, a member pointer driver which is uh, pointed to uh, a variable to the is that variable is of type struct pci driver let's look on that yeah okay so struct pci driver now this struct pci driver uh, it it describes the pci driver and it has uh, two function pointers suspend and resume now these pointers we call them as legacy pointers right talking about devices struct device this structure describes a basic device the earlier this pci dev this pci dev it described the pci device it means uh, 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 this structure is telling that this particular device belongs to pci subsystem and other things but this struct device described the basic uh, it describes a basic device it doesn't care that the device is of uh, cat type or block type or is belongs to usb or pci nothing it's just a basic device now it embeds another it, uh, it is having another uh, variable called driver it is a it is a pointer to the variable of type struct device driver okay now here is uh, this is the main thing it has a member uh, variable pm which is pointer to of variable type struct dev pm ops now whenever talking about pci uh, pm uh, pci drivers whenever there is a, this there is a use of this structure struct uh, dev pm ops it means that driver is following gen uh, that uh, driver that driver belongs to generic framework okay so if we compare uh, legacy framework and generic framework from code point of view it is going to look something like this we took a okay there is a peer. of course this suspend and resume are the same functions in the peer driver itself because of course you are not going to write different uh, functions for legacy framework and generic framework there is although there is some modification when you uh, go from legacy to generic but this is how the functions were like identified in legacy framework and in generic framework they are identified through device type structure so you can see that in generic framework we have uh, we have made it more generalized it uh, we call it through dev driver pm and the suspend here it was using pdev which is of pci dev type it means it was literally saying that this driver uh, this device where this driver is of pci subsystem no but this is generic now and uh, yeah as i said that although this uh, suspend and resume uh, in the generic framework, uh, framework are identified by dev but again pci driver has to be called upon so driver this driver is again having some you can say another function uh, let's see okay struct pci dev embeds device dev as we talked about uh, talked earlier now this struct pci driver it has a device driver it has another member uh, variable driver which is of type struct device driver so this is how things work it, it's really a, uh, it's just here for reference you need don't need to worry about to understand the stuff the things now driver should do only device specific jobs yes that's what we mean because that's why there is a subsystem layer and the kernel because you see 
so if we talk about pci devices pci is a standard pci devices are built upon the, those standards right and the like if you talk about pci specs it has uh, even power management is also part of spec and power management and pci spec is uh, like uh, described briefly that how what are the power states uh, in which a pci devices can go what are the intermediate steps uh, during the uh, like you can say suspend resume transitions what are the in intermediate steps through which a device has to go so these are some standard things okay uh, like all the uh, pci devices are going to follow those those standard things all the pci devices are going to have have those standard features so why are we writing all the code for all those standard features again and again in each and every driver that doesn't make any sense so but legacy framework was like too much simple too much uh, uh, no simple is not the correct way actually it was too much not it was not doing much of the standard tasks it, it was like yeah it did some of the some of some part of the of the tasks regarding power management and it gave uh, responsibility to the driver like go and do these these uh, these and these stuffs but generic frameworks that is that is why we need to start uh, that that is these are the things that uh, these are the problems that actually created the need of generic framework there is no need of uh, there is literally no point of uh, including that code to perform the standard power management jobs again and again in each and every pci driver now as we saw problem with legacy and uh, as i told that uh, all the stuffs are were done by like even the standard jobs were done by the PCI driver itself there is a possibility that a driver can mess up in that thing suppose uh, those standard tasks they were not performed in per right order or at not right point of time or the the you can say the code itself can be buggy so you see the problem here because that can be a serious issue and this resulted in redundancy messy code and buggy code so talking about redundancy, uh, let's go through the example. These are the patches I, uh, I like uh, worked upon while I was working on the project. So let's go through this. Yes, SMSC 9420, use generic power management. So see, uh, this is the function for suspend. Now uh, you can see that they are, these are the various uh, function calls these are pci helper function pci safe state and enable big so you see these are the standard things a pci device uh, should do like saving the state enable wake if the device wants to and disable this device set the new power state then again in resume you know, just restore the state enable device and set PC, uh, set master these are just again and again each and driver each and every driver is including this code again and again and these are literally just uh, standard jobs these all things could be performed by the pci subsystem layer itself there is no point of including this code in the driver again and again but this is how the things work so you can see there are some other significant changes too like there is a change in function signature we'll see later and these, these things but again the main point is that these are the there's too much redundant code in the uh, there were too much there were too much written code in the drivers now here's another example now see r2 x double zero now this uh, in this okay yeah in this case the suspended resume you see suspend resume uh, code is shared by other drivers too and yeah so you see again same problem same standard job save state disable device set my uh, power state again okay, all those stuffs so you see now if this code messes up at some point of time due to any reason all these drivers are going to suffer now messy code is really very good one like if we are uh, i go to this particular patch you see Hmm. you see this line now what happened is that earlier uh, not generally because you, as I told that PCI spec defines the power states for all the PCI devices there's D0, D1, D2, D3 hot and D3 cold 
and there are many intermediate uh, states too but generally generally not all devices follow all like go into all those states generally they are d0 d1 and max max d3 d d3 state but not all drivers go through all the states and generally for even suspend hibernate and freeze the same suspend uh, method is used and resume is, uh, resume method is used because generally the code written for suspend works for hibernate to and freeze to right because the uh, the device that particular device doesn't need to go in any particular other state so it does not need to do is, it does not need to perform any other specific task so as you see in the in this suspend code now in the suspend code the peer, this particular message is passed to the suspend method and this code is generally checking that if the you can see if uh, this particular code was called for suspend you know when the device is going into suspend mode if this uh, code is called and the device is going to suspend then only perform those talk uh, those uh, tasks otherwise just pack up and go back so you see if the if this code is called for during because uh you see uh, the pci code doesn't know that this device is not going to perform during the so freeze or hibernate thing it will just simply call and the dri driver will check that this device supports it or not or we have to perform those steps or not but here is the real problem because of the legacy framework there was a function call okay even in case of hibernate and freeze there was a function call the driver uh, the dri the function is checking that no this uh, call is not for freeze and hibernate let's go back so you see this is just ex extra code this is just extra operation that the like kernel is going to that uh, core is going to perform although it doesn't need to call this code for freeze and suspend now this thing uh, this thing uh, is like this this was a huge simplification achieved because of generic framework you see in generic framework i can uh, literally allot uh, that for suspend i i need to call suspend method for freeze there is no function just define it null for power off null and resume we know so you see the there is the that extra step of calling because i don't need to tell you that how much costly it is to like call a new function uh, if you if you go look at the cpu level the cpu is going to store all the registers and variables needed into the stack and then it will call the new function then it is going to again if else condition so now the cpu knows that all those things it has done was useless now bring those things back again and start the execution so this was literally a mess so yeah uh, next one this code rkb again similar problem and this this code does not want to perform like specifically for freeze so again there was a unnecessary function call in the event of freeze but again with the help of generic framework we can just keep it aside let's do, uh, take a look at this one okay so you see this is this this is uh, something different case in this case there is a code for suspend there is a code for resume and you see all the all actual stuff that though these two functions uh, do are actually the standard stuff they are going to save the state set the past state then again restore the state and set the past state in the resume one so you see again there is unnecessary function call in the case of suspend and in the case of all other freeze and hibernate there will be unnecessary function call because all all that all the job that these two functions will do are the standard stuff so again with the help of generic just define them null because these all stuff will be performed by the pci code itself in the generic framework now right now the buggy code yeah this one is interesting one now let's check out uh, okay we don't have a full code here mm. yeah. mm. 
Okay, this word suspend function. Yeah, suspend and resume. Okay, and this code. As you can see, where is that particular line? Okay, I'm missing this one. What is that? Did I open the wrong file? No, no, no. Okay, I guess I already. Okay. Not this one actually. Hmm. Okay, this one is modified to one shift. Okay. Okay, no worries. So what this uh, particular driver was doing is it was uh, okay. huh. it was calling PCI uh, PCI enable wake in both suspend and resume and all it was doing is to disable the enable wake. So literally the device doesn't want to go into uh, doesn't want to do enable wake in both either in both condition either suspend and resume it doesn't want to perform enable wake it is just disabling it and this thing can be bulky because maybe that was unnecessary function call that was uh, placed there intentionally because the device was doing some weird step uh, weird stuff if not done so or maybe things were ignored but we don't know because there there were many, there are many problems related with, to the pci enable wake the that function itself so that part is buggy but again that part is there in every device driver so even if that thing is you know worked upon this uh, many uh, many drivers will still be using that particular buggy code so we saw that how this legacy stuff is creating problem now legacy to generate how uh, these conversions took place so first of all we change the function signature of suspend and resume as uh, we saw earlier too i told i showed you the function itself let's see Yeah, so we change the function signature because earlier the function signature and earlier the function was accepting the parameter of type PCI we are upon it was a pointer type PCI dev and uh PMSS type variable state. But now with the general framework, because we are going general, we are going general, we don't need to know that yeah, this device is a particular PC, uh, PCI subsystem because the PCI code itself now knows that yes, this device is of uh, this device belong this device is PCI. So let the code do the all those stuffs. Driver should do only device specific jobs. Okay. So this uh, we change the function signature and accordingly to PCI dev and these things we need. Then remove the PCI helper functions. As you can see, these for helper function these are called PCI helper functions and all the all literally everything these uh, functions do are standard jobs and these things can be taken care of by the pci code itself so driver code does not need to involve these code like they don't need all these code all these things will be taken uh, care of by the pci code itself uh, step three manage wake as i told again that this pci wake from deep three and pci enable wake this uh, because many of the drivers use them in a very buggy manner and this should be avoided or be or should be replaced with the uh, device set wake up enable because that is more generic version of it and most of the cases we should just avoid it okay now step four this one was uh, this was this one should be actually the first step but uh, yeah now config pm as you see that this particular the suspend and resume code this was inside the uh, directive container uh, if dev config pm earlier for the legacy one but again uh, this was done because uh, many devices don't want to support the like you know power management stuffs so in that case we don't want the unnecessary code to go into the kernel but with generic we don't need the config pm condition we need the config pm sleep but uh, while i was working i saw, I saw many drivers which are all many PCI drivers which are already using the generic framework they are either using the config pm sleep or they literally remove the container this uh, conditional code for conditional code compilation and they mark the functions as maybe unused so this this part is literally that how the driver maintainer or how the how they want the code to be so i literally that just depend that is not standard thing that mark all the functions as maybe unused or use the config pm sleep 
that depends on how the code was earlier written okay now step five as i told that struct day pm ops this day pm ops wherever this day pm ops is used means that driver that driver is using generic framework now there can be there are two possible now how to uh use them okay now as you saw in the messy one or in the as you can say redundant one yeah this one and this i modified the suspend and resume now just uh, we have to like embed them in this variable so i use simple day pm ops there is universal day pm ops in that case runtime suspend and runtime resume we are also going to use the same code and okay or uh, either i can explicitly initialize the members as we saw in the case of messy one that uh, we don't need to we don't need to perform we know we don't need to call the suspend and resume function in the case of uh, freeze and hibernate in that case i was like manually defining that if i'm uh, like initialize them as null so use this uh, variable now step six is finally include it in the driver okay so how to finally do it loop the previous steps for 210 drivers yeah that that's literally i did because uh, when i started working on this project uh my first task was to find out how many drivers are actually using the legacy code so beyond suggested me just uh, remove the that legacy pointers from the code and compile the kernel using make k and just record all the errors thrown so i did that and I just redirected the output and the error to the to a file. Then I performed awk operations, and I had a list of two hundred ten drivers. I was like, "This is this is very large number," <laughs> but yeah, things were uh, things got easy as I told that once I started working on code, I started to like uh, understand the code. And these although these are basic steps, I told one, two, three, four, five, six. But again, you need to apply those steps for each and every driver, and each and driver again is a new task in itself because so one driver is performing something except the standard uh, tasks some driver is performing some steps in a particular way another can do it in a, another way and you have to take care of that while converting legacy to generic that you don't break things you should not break things now again the pci code we can see like in detail now uh, as we saw for the suspend first the uh, now there is a particular code for each one of them one of them when the device has to go in suspend mode there is pci pm prepare then pci pm suspend and pci pm no iq now this is the point uh, in while doing the pci pm suspend the functions check that is the driver using legacy code or the generic code if uh, to like make sure that the device is using using generic code it just check that it is using dev pm ops variable or not else it goes on and uh, Similarly, it goes for resume. So as you can see, there there was a there uh, there was a major simplification achieved when we switched to from uh, legacy to generic. Now the all the drivers are not doing again again like all those drivers are not performing the standard uh, steps again and again for each and every every driver. There is like literally lot of you can say lot of code was reduced when we switched from uh, to generic, and there was lot of simplifications and. Uh, you can just say that earlier the uh, the PCI code was like hello knock knock hello PCI driver uh, now is the time to suspend please perform all those standard tasks uh, just tell me are you going to perform it or not or either I should do and it waits yeah that you are you are going to do it you are using legacy framework okay do it but do it properly please but now with generic framework PCI code is like knock knock hello driver. Uh, this is the time to suspend. I have done all the standard tasks. Just do the device specific top, uh, task you are supposed to do and return. Yeah. So that is now you see that there is much stability. There is much more stability and there is much more power to the core now because all most of the tasks, most of the standard tasks are done by now the core itself. So the fall of the legacy. This was really this is the target and this is good. This is happening because the legacy yeah it was good it helped uh, it performed well it gave good results but now things are changing there is standard there are a lot of uh, standard tasks and those standard tasks again and again because 
suppose there is a like update in some PCI uh, specs and although it should not happen because generally it doesn't happen that should be very wrong but suppose uh, something new has to be performed and then literally you will have to modify all the PCI drivers code but now with the generic framework just include it in the PCI core code and the driver will do only the device specific job that doesn't have to worry but still we are waiting to we are just trying because uh, the submission process takes place verification and regression we are waiting for all the patches to go into the tow walls tree and the another major uh, thing which i found out while working on my project because what happened was that when i was working on my project many times i was like this a new driver so most of the time what i used to do is look up on the neighboring drivers which are using the generic uh, framework and look at their code to get an idea yes how this code is handling and how because they are sibling they are working on sibling devices and so this can have this driver should also like tackle out the problems in the similar way so that time i realized that many of the generic drivers are still invoking those pci helper functions like if we go in this step during the during all the steps uh, it is given in the documentation also if any general generic driver is saving the state of the devices and performing few of the like changing the state of the devices it is expected that all the stand most of the standard tasks will be done by the driver itself and the core won't do the rest of the jobs so again that part uh, can be a troublesome so the driver general driver they should not use those PCI helper functions and they need cleaning and uh, first of all they need uh, I need to research that what are the helper function and is it like safe to remove them but yeah i have to work on that too and th third task is i need to figure out uh, like we need to figure out that pci enable wake and pci wake from d3 this stuff because as i told earlier too that they are either used in a buggy manner or they can be a bug in some of the cases so that needs a check so happy hacking i hope you enjoyed uh, the talk uh, if you have any problem if you have any doubts just mention and i'll try to explain whatever the confusion is there thank you once again have a great day